653. <clears throat> I think I have about 18 and a half miles to uh, the road that takes me into Great Barrington, and then it's like 2.3 to Days End. Hopefully, I can get a ride for that. If not, I'll just walk it. Um, so, who knows? Maybe today I'll get to pet a bear or a leprechaun. This is the top of Bear Mountain, the highest point in Connecticut. It's only a half mile from Massachusetts. Uh, quite the climb up here. Not too hard, but first thing in the morning, quite the climb. No real view. That's all clouded in down in the valleys. And you can't see that way. So if you remember uh, coming down Bear Mountain in New York where it was all stairs, that's what Bear Mountain in Connecticut looks like. That's not fun. It's a little scary. Looks like it gets a little less crazy. Uh, but that first section coming off of there was, I don't know, 15 minutes of, 15 minutes of rock scrambling type stuff. And it's obviously damp. I'm going to tell you. Getting serious. I was kind of hoping this type of stuff was going to wait for Vermont, uh, but apparently not. If it's like this all through Massachusetts, it's going to be a rough week getting to uh, a meeting spot. Because I have like 18 to 21 mile day plans. 18 to 21 mile days planned. Uh, it's rough. 1046 <laughs> a.m. 9.1 miles to go. I'm on the Mount Everett summit. Sounds more like Mount Everest. It's only elevation 2,602 feet, which means I'm weak. Um, so. Mount Everett Fire Tower, 1915 to 2002. Oh, that would have been fun if I was here 20 years ago. All right, now I guess I have to go down, and I think it's going to be worse than coming up, because coming up, if you fall, you grab the rock in front of your face. Going down, if you fall, your face grabs the rock in front of your face, or your face grabs the rock in front of your feet. Um, so, anywho, I gotta get to this hotel room, shower, wash off my wounds, maybe they'll dry up or something. That was not looking great. Uh, uh, it is 12.49, I have 5.2 to go, and it's a little bit hazy today. Some big fields around these houses. I wonder if they're farms. Not how I picture Massachusetts. I picture this Boston built by uh, cars. Boston cream pie. Dunkin' Donuts. That's terrible. Terrible accent. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts is pretty good. Last battle of Shays Rebellion was here, February 27, 1787. I believe it was Shays Rebellion that led George Washington to advocate for a strong central federal government. Uh, so thanks, Shay, for 
kicking off the problems we got today. Wicka wicka. Uh, the mosquitoes over the last hour and a half have been absolutely nightmares. Um, thankfully I'm out of that wooded area because I stopped to spray myself and I had like 20 of them on me. And I pulled my spray out, started spraying, they all scattered, and then I just hauled ass out of there. Uh, still got bit a couple times, and I'm out of bug spray, and I am desperately hoping that these woods aren't as bad. I have a feeling they're gonna be just as bad. If not worse, I have roughly 1.7 to go. And uh, it's probably gonna be a pretty pretty quick 1.7 because these little bastards are hungry. All right, I'm trying to hitch into town, but having no luck. And I think the issue is <coughs> a lot of Mercedes and Audis, Porsches going by. So, yeah, who wants to get a mud covered hiker in one of those vehicles? I guess I'm in the Berkshires, uh, which I think is rich people territory. So, maybe they'll call the cops on me and the cop will take pity on me because he's a working man. Alright, it's 3 11. Um, no laundry at this day's in, but there's apparently a laundromat right next door to the place where I'm going grocery shopping. So I guess that'll be a combined trip. Uh, there's a railroad right behind here, unfortunately. I mean, like. 50 feet that way. Yeah, this is a this is a hundred and fifty dollar night hotel for sure. That's not an <laughs> issue. Um, I got picked up after about a mile, like right after I shot that last little scene, uh, by a guy who wants to hike the trail, but I guess physically he's unable to. So I've had a lot of people uh, say stuff like that. So if you ever want to hike the trail and you don't want to listen to my warnings, don't put it off too long. I'll tell you what, I wish I would have done it when I was 20 or I wish I wouldn't have done it at all, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Spaghetti and meatballs. And I don't know if this fridge is working, but we got beverages, coconut water, I had a kombucha. Look at all that cheesecake. Penny Alfredo with grilled chicken. Oh, you're treating me right, Great Barrington. And then just a general resupply. Toothpaste so I can start brushing my teeth with toothpaste again. Been using my brush. All my joys. Um, that's about it. I got my laundry done. Just hanging this stuff out to kind of dry a little bit. And then I wanted some vegetables, so I can force that down too. Just a quick note. Um, so, kudos to the simulation. Apparently, they had eight straight days of rain followed by um, a lot of heat. So the mosquitoes are at a decades high volume numbers, something like that. Uh, I had two different people tell me that, yeah, there's never mosquitoes here unless it rains a lot. Um, I got literally freaking attacked on the trail. I think I said that earlier. Uh, also got stung by something. I've got bug bites on the back of my neck from where they got in underneath the mosquito head net. Um, absolutely awful. And uh, I can't believe I'm paying $150 a night for a hotel where the fridge doesn't work and there's a train <laughs> 50 feet from my bedroom. It's insane, man. All right, I don't know if you know this, but in Greek, Jason means healer. So I don't know if this is gonna work. I know you're not supposed to do this, or at least they say you're not supposed to do this, but I mean, I gotta get rid of this stuff. It's 
So it's only the white bubbly part that's bad, right? That's not too bad. That's not white bubbly at all. So now I think I use some water and then some rubbing alcohol and then probably Neosporin. All right, so that's rinse with water. There's rubbing alcohol. Should probably do water again, I would guess. I don't know. Maybe this will dry it out. Help prevent the risk of infection from minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. What about for those things? What is this supposed to do? Topical solution, first aid antiseptic, oral debriding agent. What the hell is that? For treatment of minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. So this works too. The alcohol is burning slightly. That must mean it's working. I don't think I'm going to rinse the alcohol. Since it's burning, I think it's working. I'm going to let it work. You do two, two parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide. Apparently you can gargle that and then spit it. Don't swallow. I know that would be tough for you, Jimmy. <clears throat> but do what you got to do, buddy. And... Uh, it's supposed to fix mouth wounds. And I think this has burned long enough, so. Now it's time for, um, I got something going on with my heel, man. Come on, bro. Heel's all messed up too. Jeez. All right. Uh-oh. That cheesecake was a thousand forty calories. And I took it down at about three minutes. <laughs>